The most common envenomation that I've seen in South Africa has been the Mozambican spitting cobra. Now, for some reason, they always aim for the eyes because that's the most movement they see, and then they spit the venom. Now, it's a cytotoxic uh, venom, so the problem with that is it actually damages the tissue and you can actually lose your, your eye. So the quickest, best response for that is start rinsing the eye. I'm going to show you guys a quick, a quick improvisation that, I, that I've used while I've got access to, a, access to a lot of medical equipment. And then I'll show you guys the, the backcountry improvisation version of that improvisation. Here goes. So guys, for this I'll be using a bag of, of uh, IV fluids. Which is there, I remember, clean potable water, that's what you want to rinse with. I'm going to use a 20 drop IV administration set and a nasal cannula and tape. That's the only thing I don't have ready. <laughs> tape. So we're going to, we're going to start off by we're going to start off by moving your regulator. So what you want to keep on this these are the parts you want to keep. So the rest you can discard. There goes that. Next thing you want to get your nasal cannula. Sorry, you actually want to keep this clean. And this goes in there. So I, don't, I carry a nasal cannula on all my kits for exactly this reason. It's, it's light, it's cheap. Uh, and I don't really carry oxygen with me, but it's, it's for irrigation. Then tape, electrical tape. So then I secure the, the flow meter and the, and the barrel of the IV IV tubing to the nasal cannula and then from here I will spike the IV bag okay so half full I'll get one of my carabiners and hang this in the tree okay and I'll hang this in the tree now the reason I kept all of this on here is so I can actually adjust the flow of the fluids through the nasal cannula which I would secure over the bridge of the nose with a piece of tape around the ears like so and this will flush the venom from the inside of the eyes out. So you don't want to flush from one eye to the next. You want to flush it out and away from the patient. So we can pretend that the, our patient is lying down here. I don't know if you guys can see there. So this will give you a steady flow of fluids. So why is this important? This is important if you have very limited amount of fluid or water with you. So not everybody is going to carry a bag of, but what you can carry, which, which will cost you almost nothing, is this little regulator and the nasal cannula tubing. Alright guys, let's do the backcountry version of this. Okay, so the backcountry version of this is you'll use your hydration bladder. Now I've uh, I removed the nozzle because I've got a little stop valve on there. Um, I've got my tape ready. Uh, what I've done to prep is I've cut the I separated the reg IV regulator and the oxygen tubing, as the oxygen tubing is roughly the right size for for this. So what we'll do is we'll tape this up there.
So again guys, tape is your best friend. So we want to make a, a decent seal around there. Now, I've sealed this so that I've already opened this and taped it in the open position. So when you plug this in, you should start getting flow. Sorry, I'm just applying a bit of pressure because of the, the angle that we're working at here. Okay, there you go. Alright, so you guys can see that we've got the uh, flow coming through there. Sorry, it's just a bit of a couple of air bubbles in there. Again, now you can have clean potable water and this thing will keep running flushing the ice continuously and leaving the, the discomfort. So what you can do is if you want you can bandage over this and keep the ice close so that, it, so that they don't move. Improvisation should never be your only option but carry the tools to make it possible. Guys if you have any first aid backcountry um, improvisation tools or tricks please share it in the comments below and we'll try it out make a make a video and post it and, and we'll discuss it from there. As always guys, please like, subscribe and share and enjoy the backcountry. Be safe.